Hi you guys, I'm Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique and today I'm going to bring you a quick and easy tumbler tutorial using a fast set epoxy. You can get these two cups done in one to two days. It is so quick but the design is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and get started with a 24 ounce and 32 ounce prepped plump tumbler from the Steel Magnolias. These are great because they come to you ready to go, no sanding, painting required. Next we're going to mix just a little bit of epoxy, I think I did about 10 mls here. We're going to mix well, I have this sped up so it won't go this quickly. And then I transfer to a new mixing cup to be sure that I get it mixed really well and there's no strangulations in there. And then just mix a little bit more. Now we're gonna go in and pour just a little bit of epoxy on each one of the tumblers and just make sure there's a very thin coat all around the tumbler. This is gonna act as our adhesive for the glitter in the next step. The glitter we're going to use on these tumblers is I Do from Chase Ray Creations. We're going to take the glitter and sprinkle it all over our tumblers. I would recommend putting your glitter in a shaker bottle. It will make applications so much easier. I obviously did not do that here, but I made it work. Because this is a semi-chunky glitter, we're going to take our tumbler and wrap it in parchment paper and just try and smooth down all of those pokey pieces to make your epoxy application a lot smoother. Then we're going to go in with two coats of epoxy. You're going to want to be sure your tumbler is completely smooth here because the sticky sheet we're going to go in with, you'll be able to see sanding in the background, so you don't want to have to sand. I'm going to take my ultimate tumbler tool to create a straight line to where I'm going to line my vinyl up. I'm going to use this gorgeous sticky sheet from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I'm going to trim the vinyl for my 24 ounce cup so it's not super long. And then I'm going to do the hinge method. I'm going to pull back the vinyl and then trim off just a little bit of that backing sheet. Then I'm gonna line it up on the tumbler where I created my line and just slowly start applying it all around the tumbler. I do have this sped up, so do know that this will take a little bit of time to kind of get it all smoothed out, make sure there's no air bubbles, and to get all the way around the cup. Once I get all the way around, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut around the bulbs. That way I don't have half bulbs kind of showing on that seam. Once I do that, I'm gonna go back in and trim out the half bulbs from the beginning of where I applied the vinyl. And then we're gonna go and start on our 32 ounce plump. 
The only difference here is I trimmed the half bulbs at the beginning and I liked this way better so I would recommend that but you can always do it afterward like I did on the first tumbler. I do apologize, my camera did not want to focus here, but here I'm pulling up on that vinyl to stretch it kind of around that top before I go in with my X-Acto knife and trim off the excess. Once we finish that, we're gonna flip the cup over and press down on that vinyl so it's as smooth as you can get it. Then I'm gonna take my cup edging tool from Cami Page Boutique and trim that bottom rim. And here's what we got so far. Then we're gonna go in with one coat of epoxy. Once you have all your epoxy on your tumbler, go in with your torch to pop any bubbles. For these tumblers, I'm gonna do a double offset, so I'm gonna use three colors of vinyl. I'm gonna use this gorgeous gray holographic and this rainbow vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, as well as just a basic white. I'm gonna take my first offset, which is the dark gray, and I'm gonna layer the white offset, which is gonna be the middle color, and place it over top of the gray. I chose two different SVGs because I just could not decide between the two. The one on the left that I'm layering now is from Diamonds and Dust on Etsy. And the one on the right is from the RLG Boutique, also on Etsy. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I really, really struggled with this textured rainbow vinyl. I tried three different transfer tapes with this stuff and nothing wanted to stick to it. The texture is pretty significant, which makes it really hard. So I cut out quite a bit here. It took me a good 30 minutes to get these layers all put down. And unfortunately, when I would go to pull up the backing, it would shift and you'll see here a couple of times I have to actually adjust with my X-Acto knife because it moved on the transfer tape. And it was just a bit of a struggle. So do prep yourself if you go to use this. The effect is absolutely stunning, but it definitely took a little bit of work.
I'll have both of these SVGs linked in the description box below. If you love them, go on over and support these small businesses. Next, let's go ahead and clean our rims. We're gonna take a 60 grit sanding block and sand the top and bottom of our tumbler. Remember for the top, you wanna to expose a little bit of stainless steel so your epoxy has something to adhere to on the next layer. Then we're gonna go in with a 180 grit sanding block and sand kind of all around the tumbler to knock down any of those potential pokey bits from your last coat of epoxy. Then we're gonna spray it down with our 91% alcohol and wipe with a clean cloth. When it comes to laying decals, for something like this, the SVG is long, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it over that seam of our vinyl to kind of cover that up a little bit. I mean, how perfect is that rainbow vinyl with those Christmas lights? I absolutely love it. You're gonna wanna be sure that vinyl is really well pressed down. Then we're gonna go in with Quick Coat from Counterculture DIY and apply it over top of those decals to be sure we don't get any lifting. Once the quick coat is all dry, we're gonna go in with our final two coats of epoxy. When I do a lot of layers, like I did with this decal on tumblers, I like to go in with two final coats just to be sure everything is really well covered. And don't forget to hit those tumblers with your torch to pop any bubbles. really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. It's a fun, quick design that you can quickly incorporate into, say, craft events or if you're having a ready to sell event coming up. And of course, perfect as a little Christmas gift or teacher gift. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love it if you were able to subscribe, like, or even comment below. And in the description, I have all the links to my social media, as well as links to some of the products that I used in the video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much.